All right, so we talked about conjugate pairs. So every acid slash base has a conjugate base slash an acid, right? So if we talk about HA, an acid interacting with water, uh, I can form H3O plus plus A minus, right? And so we're talking about going in this direction. So we can talk about Ka here, right? Where it's gonna be equal to concentration of H plus times A minus all over H. A, right? We ignore the water because it is a liquid. However, this A minus can act as a base. It's the conjugate base, so it can act as a base. Right, so this A minus, maybe it interacts with a different water to form HA and hydroxide. So now we're talking about going in this direction. And so we can write a KB for this, where it's gonna be equal to the concentration of the HA over hydroxide all over A minus, right? So conjugate acid base pairs. And so the reason this is important is because if we multiply these two values, the KA and the KB value for an acid base conjugate pairs, we end up with something pretty cool. So let's see what happens when we multiply these two. So HA is H plus times A minus over HA. KB is going to be hydroxide times AH over A minus, right? And now we're going to see some stuff cancel out. A minus will cancel out with A minus. HA will cancel out with HA. And so your final answer is going to be equal to H plus times the concentration of hydroxide. And we know that this is equal to KW, which equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. And the reason this is important is because if you have a KA or a KB, you can figure out the opposite for the conjugate pair. So for an acid base conjugate pair, Ka times Kb is going to be equal to Kw, which is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. And then also Pka plus Pkb is going to be equal to Pkw, which is equal to 14. So you can see if you know one of these, you know the other. So let's just write that out. If you know... Ka slash Kb of a conjugate acid base pair, you can find the other value. So here's some examples. Right, and if you take a look at these KWs and if you multiply their pairs, you will get one times 10 to the negative 14. And the reason this is important is because oftentimes these values are only uh, relayed as pKa values, right? So for ammonia, it's very easy to find the pKa value and it's 10 times 10 to the negative 10. So that tells you that NH4 plus, it has this acid strength. However, what if instead you add um, NH3, right? NH3 instead, and you know that's going to act as a base. So you want to know the strength of its basicity. It's KB. Well, you can just think about the KA and turn it into the KB. And since the two sum to equal to 14, right, they're opposites of one another. If you have something that's a stronger acid, it will have a weaker conjugate base. If you have something that's a, weak, a stronger base, it will have a weaker conjugate acid, right? So um, on the left here, we have increasing acid strength, right? So these are the acid components, and then these are their conjugate bases. So you can see they lose a H, right? HF goes to F minus, 
Uh, NH4 plus goes to NH3, right? And so the stronger of an acid you have, the weaker of the conjugate base that you have, right? These are strong acids. Um, and so their conjugate bases are actually not even bases in water. And then um, so on and so forth, right? So at the end of the day, if you have a stronger acid slash base, you have a weaker conjugate base slash acid. So let's take a look at some examples. So if we have H2SO3, sulfurous acid, reacting with H2O to form H3O plus plus HSO3 minus, and if I tell you that this has a pKa of equal to 1.77, then you should be able to find the pKb here, right? So remember that 14 is equal to pKa plus pKb for conjugate acid-base pairs, which this one is. And so pKb ends up being 12.23. And remember, for the P's, the smaller number means stronger, right? So this is a small number, so this is kind of a stronger acid. And then this is a bigger number, so that's kind of a weaker base. So you can tell that overall in this equilibrium, it's going to lie towards the right side. This, this uh, sulfurous acid is going to act more so as an acid um, than a base. So let's do some more examples. So we have some acids, uh, HF, and then you have the conjugate base, F minus. Tell you that the pKa is here, so 3.20. Then kind of what's this pKb? NO2 minus, think about what its conjugate acid would be and what value it would have, CC6H5, NH3, C6H5, NH2, H2, So go ahead, just fill in all the empty spots, pause the video, and then fill them in. So if you know that the pKa of HF is 3.2, then you know that the, or the pKa of HF is 3.2, you know the pKb of its conjugate base is going to be that minus 14, so 10.8. If you have NO2 minus as the base, oh, whoops, I forgot to give you the value, it should be 10.63. Um, as the base, then you know its conjugate acid is going to be HNO2, and you know that it will have a pKa of 3.37. Um, if you have this guy, pyridine, the C6H5NH2 has a pKb of 9.37. The protonated form with this extra H has a pKa of 4.63. And then finally, if you know HF has a Ka of 6.31 times 10 to the negative 4, you should be able to calculate the pKb of F minus by basically saying that the two multiplied by each other must be 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So this ends up being 1.58 times 10 to the negative 11. Just yet another table that kind of shows the same thing. So there's just some Ka and some Kb values um, of the acid and then the conjugate base, right? And you can see when one is very large, the other is very small and vice versa, right? Um, yeah. the remember, the, remember, they must be conjugate pairs.
right? So for example, if you have uh, carbonic acid, that can dissociate into H plus plus HCO3 minus, right? So if you know the Ka of this guy, you can figure out the Kb of this guy here. However, um, you can then not figure out anything about carbonate, right? Carbonate is not a conjugate acid base pair of these guys. Right, so let's take an example. If you know the Ka here, you can find the Kb here. You can find the Kb here. But here, this bicarbonate, that's a Ka. So these two will not be related because they're not conjugate acid base pairs. So you have to be careful about when you're using these values. And again, they must be conjugate acid base pairs. Uh, next up, we'll look at kind of how to tell whether something is going to be an acid or a base.